All the main buildings of this university have a rainwater harvesting facility which is stored in a huge tank with proper pipelines and modern technological facilities. Moreover, 75 acres of greenery and a vivid range of plants make the campus look serene and filled with nature's grandeur. With a well-used technology of sewage water plant that has been functioning for the past 11 years, our campuses have been awarded the Green Campus for 17 consecutive years. The sewage water treatment plant is one of the most efficient working units of the university which helps to make a better living for the people, students and faculty here. At Christ University, environment and ecology are important in both in policy as well as student formation in the campus. The university, although is very green, does not use fresh water for gardening. We only use recycled water. For recycling water, we have set up the recycling plants investing about rupees 1 crore 20 lakhs. And that is together in three different uh, locations in Bangalore. In fact, I'm very, very happy to note that a study done last year showed that this campus, just 25 acres campus, has 72% of Bangalore's biodiversity. It starts with the collection tank where the sewage water is sent. Before being sent to the collection tank, it is cleared of hard waste at an early filtering point called the screening chamber. Once sent to the collection tank, the tank is filled with algae that helps in eating all the dirt and filthy substances in the sewage water. Here the whole tank acts as an algae's den to clean all the unwanted substances in the water. For further purification, the water is sent to two sub-tanks with several water bushes that kill all the termites and does the final work in this stage of filtration. After being filtered in the collection tanks, the filtered water is sent to the segregation tank where the clean water settles at the bottom and the leftover water filled with impurities settles on the top. The clean water is sent to the clarified tank through a pipe at the bottom of the segregation tank while the water with impurities is sent back to the collection tank. From the clarified tank, the water is sent to the purifier for the final level of purification, after which the purified water is stored in a huge pond inside our university. Each day, 12 lakh litres of water is purified through this process. This water is majorly used for watering the plants in the university and for various gardening and ground cleaning purposes. Apart from the sewage water treatment plant, our university also practices rainwater harvesting where all the major buildings in the three campuses have pipelines and machineries fit to make sure that the rainwater is not wasted. This water is also directed towards the huge pond that is used for purified water collection. Christ not only works on the maintenance of its campuses but also inculcates in its students a respect for the society and teaches them the value of nature through holistic education. The university aims at conserving natural resources for a healthier lifestyle and a sustainable future.